Welcome back to another episode of Kicking It With The Brothers, episode 7, 2023, the domestic season. As you can see, it's your boys, Mr. Charles Little, rocking the Barca today, the traditional kit today, sir. Uh, you know, last year's kit, I got uh, I got this year's on the way. I had to wait for my boy to get registered on the first team. Uh, the Six God Lives. Um, Respect. Oh, um, man. You know, I, it's, it's good times, man. We kiss the badge. We live in life, man. I just bought my flight to uh, Barcelona this morning. I got my air. I'm locked in for the last uh, for the last uh, bit of the season. So uh, if we bring home the title, I will be there. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Well, unless you're in London in April, the title race could be over there. But we'll talk about that a little bit later. But shout out to uh, your fellow, fellow Catalonian, uh, Sir Hill Ford. <laughs> Come on, dog. Come on, dog. You see his name? Y'all are wild. Come on, dog. All right, dog. All right, dog. All right, dog. What about about this one? All right, we'll get. All right, bro. As we always do, we're going to start La Liga. Started off with La Liga, everybody. Uh, The current current league leaders, uh, FC Barcelona, are now eight points clear, top of the table. Two nil victory uh, this past weekend and uh, against Sevilla. Um, wonderful first goal to start. I have to do say, wonderful connection, great team goal. Jordi Alba kept his run going. Uh, very impressive. Charles, why don't you kick it off? And uh, as you said, this is what happens. The first forty five minutes were a little bit of a struggle, and then the breakdown happened. And young Kessie, great touch by him. Uh. Yeah, as I'm as we're, as I'm slowly trying to introduce uh, Dion to being a cooler, um, this is Barca life. Team sitting in a low block against us um, and us having to break them down. They've literally been doing this for 15, 15 going on twenty years watching this happen. But um, Jordi Alba, who y'all be sleeping on, who y'all disrespect when there aren't fucking five good left backs in the whole damn world, and y'all be slandering Jordi Alba like he ain't been out here banging out hits every summer like ho. Like stop like the disrespect on that man is 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 out of this world. Like all he does is 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 put in quality work. Um, is he in this thing where everybody wants to talk bad about Barcelona and how we look in the Champions League? Yes, that requires a different type of player. Uh, Sergio Busquets can't play in those games. Jordi Alba might not be the best option in those games. But in La Liga against teams that aren't fucking attacking them at all and they can pick their passes and they need more offensive minded players like Jordi Alba should be the is the preferred left back. Boozy can work all day, even though he got hurt yesterday and Kessie came out there and put a mm-hmm. shift in. I uh, really like what they did with the midfield. Uh, when Kessie came in, he was more forward. And then uh, the double pivot was with uh, Frankie and Pedri, uh, which was which was love because all Pedri do is a ball circulator. And he lets Gabby just run wild. So uh, it was a good day. Rafinha out there doing his thing. Um, the four midfielders, uh, when we go into our forward midfielder work, it's uh, we're I can't I, I just we're the best team in the world. Uh, purely off the fact that I don't think teams can get the ball off of us. I think we're like, we're, we're going to, it's just like um, almost like, I mean, obviously it's Spanish football. It's just like Spain in the world cup. Like it's not a matter of if we're going to have the ball or not, we're going to have the ball most of the game. It's just a matter of like, are we going to be able to score? And are we going to be able to stop you on the counter attack? And with the defense that we got back there, back there now, um, Andres Christensen out there balling, putting in shifts after shifts, after shifts, uh, put, made um, Eric Garcia obsolete and useless. Uh, I greatly appreciate him for that. But with him, Kunde and, and Araujo back there, like they're not giving up anything on the back end. Uh, I feel super secure. To, to see where we were 18 months ago, two years ago, and the way I was slandering us when I had Clement Longley and Samuel and TT back there to, to you know, we out here with so many damn clean sheets. Uh, we could start a hotel. I mean, it's, it's life is good, man. I can't, I can't, I can't. <sighs> Dion, man, you, you Throw the, off the backboard, man. You got it. I mean, listen. I thought we were, I thought we were playing Tottenham. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I mean, Jordi Alba's like good. I mean, it, listen. I mean, when you're playing the best teams in the world, I, I, I mean, KDB didn't play on Sunday, so like some players are interchangeable depending on who you play against. Like, I don't think, I don't think Jordi Alba not being able to play a game against PSG or like City really like means it's time to slander him. Uh, I think he's playing phenomenal in the role that they give him, essentially. 
you got the young dudes out there. It also, like uh, Charles, like, I like brought him up. Christensen, probably like, the biggest surprise for me. Like, I, if you would have mm-hmm. told me he was good three months ago, I would have said goodbye. Solid, solid. The, like all they are, solid as, at the back. And the thing that they added is they, they're not an overall. Like all their attacking players are short, but uh, but in Lewandowski. Uh, Arahu and um, and Christensen, they at least got a little bit of hype back there now, so they're not getting killed. Like I remember, like on the set plays, uh, we were super vulnerable the last couple of years on set plays, and really haven't had that problem this year. Um, like it was the last couple of years, P- uh, PK was pretty much the only tall person we had out there. And aerials don't matter in the midfield if y'all got the ball the whole time. In terms of anybody with directs, right? Because you know, also, y'all... Like, I know it doesn't matter. Uh, you know, they're out of Champions League, but I think. You know, the way they've been playing defense, honestly, for the last, like, three or four months, but specifically since, you know, the uh, world, at, like, post-World Cup, mm-hmm. uh, I, I think it makes them a little bit more playable in some of those games. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they, I don't think it was fully his fault. You talking about Garcia? No, I'm talking about, like, like how Charles was saying, like, you know, mm-hmm. maybe Jordi Alba can't play in Champions League. Oh like, yeah, sure. I do, I do agree, but I do, I would like to see it with the way they're playing, like defense now, like the way they're yeah, playing yeah. now. Yeah, I, I think he, I think that would make his performances in those games a little bit better than they were. Yeah, I mean, the only reason we didn't make it to the Champions League, we weren't healthy, but that's a whole other issue. Uh, but you know, with the four midfielder setup, it's perfect for Jordi Alba because it gives him that whole left flank to work on. So, mm-hmm. um, I mean, it's a good setup. And like, obviously, like I said, teams are going to sit in. He's like, he's going to pick passes out all day. Um, What's up with Madrid, man? How y'all doing? Oh, no. We're looking up, I think, at the best team in the world right now, though. I mean, safe to say, Chavi's got them rolling. You can't argue me. You know, form is form going to be there, but class is forever, as they say. And, I mean, the class is forever right now with Barca. It's, it's impressive, man. I'm not saying they're going back to, like, their 2013, 2014, 2015 runs. Like, we aren't seeing Neymar, Messi, and, and Suarez quite yet, but the makings of it, the principles are back yeah. in Barcelona. The principles are back, and and at full speed and full speed ahead, and the understanding of what it takes to dominate. Because uh, once again, the reason why Ancelotti like he didn't win La Liga when he was at Real Madrid, like it was easier for him to win a Champions League than win a La Liga, just because they weren't beaten, uh, and that was the only time. That was the first time where they got to all five, or excuse me, where he won. Uh, domestic uh, tro- trophy, uh, there, excuse me, uh, the d- domestic regular season. Our manager is learning on the job. Yeah, that's another thing. That's crazy. Uh, and yeah, when you ask me. It sounded like ML was learning years on the job right there for a second. I got to speak on uh, Don Carlo before we go back, go into Javi. Sure. Do you think y'all suck because he's going to Chelsea? Man, that'd be a second time, I think, at Chelsea. I, don't know. I heard Lucha Chelsea Liverpool? today. And I, and I was and nervous about that. And, um, I, and I thought about changing teams. Ooh. <laughs> 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 Ooh. Do you th- like, Don Carlo's out of there. Like, do you think that has anything to do with it, whether it's Chelsea or somewhere else? If he gets fired. Well, I'm not talking about if, that. If, I don't think he's fired. I don't think it's his fault. Yeah. No, no, no. They're saying no. There's a report today, and you know what? Yeah, let's transition to Madrid. There's a report today saying that the board is not having as much confidence in him, and if he was to lose the World Club, if he was to lose the Club World Cup, then he would not be brought. He would not be brought back. That's a hell for of Champions a spin zone. That's a hell of a spin zone because he was going to leave anyway. Like that's a, <laughs> that's a hell of a spin zone. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I want to just say like I love that for Madrid. Like, uh, never look in the mirror. There's no reason to blame anyone but the other person. <laughs> so the never, old ass players. Oh, Andrew Flo players. is Flo is an expert at that. Charles would tell you I, he used I, to I do that all the time. I, I love that. I, I, that's one of my favorite characteristics in people. So I, I love that. That's a good spin zone. Um, but I'll be honest with you. I don't know who would. I'm not ready to have that conversation yet. I'd have to yeah, think about the list. I mean, listen. It's Liz, him, but I just don't think he's not going to be around. He's going to get his ass cooked. He's going he to get him down with that bullshit he's been trying to do. Board, no board, Club World Cup, Champions League. They could win La Liga. Don Carlos leaving. <laughs> like, it does not matter. You can say it. You can, you can frame it however you want. 
Do you think that's part of the reason they're playing bad? Because he doesn't care. I think they're injured and they're old. Yeah. I think they're and so therefore I mean that's the best way that's the best way I can put it. I think they're injured and they're old and they are it we're comparing them to one other team and that's what's and I'm not saying there's not excuses, but that's they always are good that's what they live for. Barca compares themselves to Madrid and Madrid compares themselves to Barcelona. They are so off the pace of where Barcelona is currently right now. Do we think Barcelona like compares themselves to their slave owner? I, I just don't feel like they do. <laughs> Might be a lone opinion. You know, we have our own standard. We just play against our own standard. We're, we're chasing hundred points now. We're chasing, now we're chasing hundred points. Like our standards, our standards do your job. Real Madrid standard was they'll do it for us. I appreciate that Dion wore the Barca away goal today. Like, I, like. <laughs> Pedri jerseys on the way, fellas. Should have by the next episode. Charles, I know you. I know you saw the outline of Barcelona on there. Had to get the author. Yeah, yeah. He is trying his best to tinker with lineups, like moving Kamavinga to left back, like this weekend. How do you feel about that? That was nasty. That that was nasty business. It's been the last three games. Nasty business. I think he's trying to figure out how he can get all of them on the field at the same time. So we had two of many up there. Uh, but I mean, Modric, Modric and Kroos, like they both took a, ch- they were chilling against Mallorca, and and also they lost in their own goal. Um, yeah, yeah. So you need them for the Club World Cup. You need them for the Club World Cup. They're old, so that I'm just gonna. They're in like five. They're in five. In like five division, I mean five competitions right now, man. Like they should be able to, they should be able, they still have enough talent to win the club. As, as long as I think so, as long as Vinny and Rodrigo, like Rodrigo, got to start showing up too. By the way, like more often, he he had a, that, that nasty, he had that nasty goal what, last week or two weeks ago. But he got to start showing up like more often. Mm-hmm. Is he Brazilian? Yeah, yeah. And and the crazy thing about him is like the Brazilians, like the the Brazilians swear he's better than Vinicius. Really? Like all of them Was he on think the he's better than Vinicius. Team? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did he play? Yeah. I understand. He would come in for Charlotte. Neymar got hurt for what it's worth. What'd you say? Stop watching Brazil the first game when Neymar got hurt. I don't like uh, watching I, We got it. We got Yeah, we're going to have to talk about them. I have, I have a bone to pick about. Um, oh, how Brazil makes their team? You know, on 37 year old center backs. Yeah. I, y'all can't tell me that Sergio Ramos is washed, PK's washed, and somehow Thiago Silva's so good. I refuse to Maybe. fucking believe that. He just got extended too. That's what I'm saying. There's no way that though. There's no way Tiago Tiago Silva was that much better than P, however Pete. Like y'all just we're just harder on PK Sergio Ramos and some of these other people. But like you mean to tell me Tiago Silva? Come on, stop that shit. He don't say nothing. That's the only reason he don't. Y'all think he nice? He don't say nothing. He'll never. He ain't never I don't shit. I'm Tiago just saying. As much people, I think people. I think he hella overrated. And I'm just like Tiago like, Silva. He also he's, hella, he's not nice. But also Chelsea has like set. Like, bro, they're not and good. He keeps playing. And Koulibaly <laughs> on the bitch, and I'm wondering why and they paid this. Ni- they paid that nigga a hell of money for to be on the bitch. Yeah, whoa. They paid who? Come on, <laughs> Dion. Are you serious? <laughs> stop playing. Let's stop playing. Like, Koulibaly don't even get out there. I'm like, that's crazy to seven, me. Seven, I don't understand it. Backs. 17 center backs is still starting the old dude. I do not, like. Yeah, he's not I don't, that nice. He's not yeah. that nice. Cool Bali was like, I mean, there was a time when folks were saying he's top two, top three in the world at, at center back, yeah. like in terms of yeah. not well, beyond form. When you're but. playing in Syria, like, yep, Napoli sure need him right now. Like, I, I just think, I think. Well, like, we may find out in the Champions League. We don't I know. Mean, we just forget like how good like the EPL is. Like, there's no. I mean, I think personally, I think Barcelona is the best team in the world. Like, if we're talking yeah, they are. in the world, like, I do think there's more teams from other leagues than the EPL that would be in the top five. But once you get out the top five, the next, like, ten are all Premier League teams, yeah. right? Like, you don't have, like, you don't get to play Mallorca and take the night off and still be in the game, like, in the EPL. So, I, I well, Leeds, well, a little bit. Liverpool Leeds Wolves. Is, you know, Leeds is in the EPL still. Shout out Tyler Adams and Aronson. But, uh. You know what I mean? Like who just, didn't get a who didn't get a tick? By just, the way, I'm just saying there's a there's a, there's a plethora of Euro, uh, Europa champions throughout the uh, throughout La Liga. So I don't want to slam who, La Liga. Who looks worse right now? 
Because y'all seen Wolves versus, well, actually, I think you were the only one up watching Wolves Liverpool with Charles. Because uh, we were talking after the morning. Yeah, respectfully, I wasn't watching that game. Yeah. Um, and that's where, like, we tech, what was the quote on Trent? What? I I have so many. What did you say about Trent? Trent don't play. I don't, oh, he's Trent. a disgrace to light, to light skins? Oh, yeah. He let, he let the whole, like, the man is a tro- like an atrocious defender. Like, I. I, I yeah, he I, is. I'm fucking, like, Trent always attacking. That's what I call it, like, TAA. Trent always attacking because the motherfucker ain't never defending. Like, he, like, him and Trey Young have set back, like, or just don't are allergic to fucking defense. And it's just like, bro, your, crosses, <laughs> your crosses aren't that good. Like, he's, he's like the, we were just talking about Jordy Alba. It's like, what they, and you lost, you know, this better than Jordy Alba will at least track back. Sure. Well, at least he's small. He will at least try. He's an, sure. but I'm saying that is he's an offensive minded, uh, uh, wing back. Like, uh, I mean, um, left back, right back. You know what I'm saying? Um, and when I'm like, you at least have to like make an, an attempt. Yeah. Like, and when I think that's half of their problem though, when he's doing that and Robbo is doing that as well, it's like they have two, like, and there's no Virgil back there to help them. They're just ass in the back. But like, I just Trent's so fucking sorry, dude. He they're back to mid table without. Sorry as hell. They're back to mid table without VVD back there. That? They're bad. Y'all be gassing these them light skinned English dudes just like they did. Uh, I don't mess with you. Know, what, what I like it. No, them dudes with hypers in their names. Same way they did Oxley Chamberlain, and his ass ended up being sorry as fuck too. Listen. I did not hype no English dude not named Harry Kane. I'm still on the fence about Rashford. I just want that on record. That's his head shape bothers me every time I see him. I'm like, <laughs> Y'all are... He has a weird shaped head. He looks like, like he it... was supposed to play basketball. I think that's my beef with him. Like he looks like he got cut from the JV team until he picked up a soccer ball. So it's bothers, I... me. It bothers me. Also, Trent uh, Alexander, great value, Hakimi. <laughs> At least Hakimi's fast. At least he has a, well, like an actual skill. Great, what does Trent actually do well? He's good on FIFA. He's like Duncan Robinson, bro. If you ain't making shots, what the fuck are you doing out here? Let me give you some quick stats on your boy, Marcus Rashford. Which Are you on the fence with him, Charles? I don't need to hear. I don't need stats. In terms of what? I mean, Rashford, no, 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 what do you no, mean no, in terms I'm, of what? I'm I'm in the camp. Okay. All right. Just make it sure. I don't need to hear the stats. No, no, no. I, 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 keep, I kept saying during the World Cup, he should have been playing in front of Harry Kane. Right. I think I'm he's, listening. I think he's the best of like the, of the black English players. He's the best of, uh, he's the best of them. It's a low bar. <laughs> low bar. That, that's, that's. It's a low bar. I mean, Mason Greenwood's about to be back in that pool, so. Listen, well, oof. Listen, it's I'm nasty. known to look past some things. Uh, I will publicly exonerate people. Uh, unlike Michael Lofton, I don't need to wait, you know, for the trial to be done. I will. I will not. But you are with City. No, 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 no. First off, the fact that you're comparing rape to cheating allegations. I wasn't comparing. I, mean, I didn't no, mention no, anything no, about no, rape. No, you don't know what I could have been talking about. Listen, you don't even know what I could be talking about. <laughs> that, was, that was a wild move. But, free uh, for free Mindy. But listen, uh, lock up Parte. Um, <laughs> <laughs> My girl loves to party all the time. Unlike ML, party I'm all the time. Person. But once they don't, and they're going to play somewhere, I'd rather it be on my team. So if Mason Greenwood wants to come to Tottenham, that's fine by me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I can't. I can't. Oh, boy. Liverpool, they're, okay, here's the thing with them. With Madrid, I think Madrid still has the edge because if they're going to play Trent and he's on the same side as Vinny, that's a wrap. Like, it's that's how they beat him the last time. They'll just keep going on, the, going up the left side, and um, there'll be problems. There'll be problems. Uh, they cannot – Liverpool can't beat Madrid if Trent is playing. He will have to sit. Liverpool can't beat Madrid. Like, where Hold on. Is, is, is Benzema going to be healthy? Potentially. Yeah, they said first leg is looking shaky, but definitely back for second leg, So, which is all that matters. Is, and is any, who's going to be – is anybody going to be healthy? It doesn't, I don't think VVD is going to be back. Uh, okay. Jolts is not going to be fully fit either. So. Yeah. I mean, this is a, that's a bad team. Yeah, Liverpool's not very good. They're, no, they're old. They're old in the middle too. You 
Tiago's never. I'm not gonna do that again. I'm not gonna trust hey, that bullshit. Fabinho, I know what his real name is, but I like calling him that. <laughs> Fabinho. I tried to tell everyone. I watched the preseason game. They're playing like in some random country I've never seen. Cooked. That dude is cooked. Mm. He couldn't play in the MLS right now. Yeah, Joe Gomez ass, mad up ass. Like they got it. Like <laughs> no, nah, dude, they were rotational. They were ninth men off the bench players when they were good. Now yeah. these people are three. Not to mention they were already like middle aged men when they were on the squad. Now they're like three years older and having to play minutes. They were never that good. I, Joe Maddox is not supposed to be playing ninety minutes. Like ninety minutes. He's not. Supposed, he's not out there pulling shifts. It's not his role. Some people ain't built for that. They, they they were the one team that could ill afford injuries, especially once Sadio Mane left. Like they needed to make sure they were shored up there. He was scoring a lot of big time goals. It, it wouldn't them, matter like, if they had their attacking players. Their, their attacking players are starved. They can't get the damn ball because they got Thiago and Fabinho running around there, chasing their fucking asses. Like it has nothing to do. Like most of them can't get the ball. But when they do actually get their chances, they're not finishing well enough because no, the all, they're just the you. eyes. They need it. I think they they're, they're, they're up front. They're fine. I think they didn't they're... need you that the winner. They need mm-hmm. you now. Just... Yeah, they need a midfielder more than like, I'm not, I think like Yakbo and, and like, they're not even getting chances to miss, to miss. Like Nunez is going to miss, but like he ain't got chances to miss. They're not good. They're, you thought they'd make oh. the run. I don't see it. No. They're not going to get to your. Most D, I would say. Hair. It's bullshit. We say D. Uh, do you think Klopp gets that? Nah, just because he's part of the rebirth of when he gets one more year. They start off bad next year. I mean, that's the rumor. <laughs> Everyone's talking about he's out of there. I think he'll make it through this year. He's actually getting sacked, unlike Don Carlo, who just wants to leave. So Real Madrid's trying to frame it their way. I just don't see Klopp lit- like getting. No, I don't see it. No. Not that that'd be a hard. That's a hard like. Not this year. I think they got to try not, to get. Not here. that press conference. You can't have that press conference. Not yet. Not yet. But I mean, there's only they've got what sixteen games left. Seventeen. Because Liverpool's behind. Yeah, no, they've got eighteen games. They got to show some signs of life. Three back of a European place. Ugh. I don't know. I don't know. But, yeah, they need to get healthy more so. In fact, the best thing for them is to get out of Champions League as quick as possible because they can't win Champions League anyway, not with this midfield. So they get out of there as quickly as possible, back to one one match a week. Then I hope Klopp comes through. But, yeah, nasty business. Speaking of EPL, they're rivals, in fact. Based upon the allegations, um, so we are this morning uh, at about 11 o'clock, um, what would be uh, GMA in terms of English time, uh, the Premier League has released a report that they have charged Manchester City with breaching its rules on more than 100 occasions over multiple years. If proven, these would be the greatest offenses committed by the by a club in the history of the competition, competition being the Premier League. That what they have done, just for for folks to understand, is like there is not a – the Premier League isn't reviewing a case. They have um, hired an independent commission, which will consider the charges, and then they would recommend uh, that City um, – some of the worst of the worst would be that they would be expelled from the competition, uh, immediately would have to be uh, relegated. Uh, there's an opportunity for them to p- potential suspension or docked points, uh, very similar to what we saw with, uh, with Juventus. Um, and if the club was found guilty or uh, before, we know that City uh, paid a $10 million fine, uh, but yet they were found guilty but still had to pay the fine. So um, nuts to the uh, displeasure of a special one in his quote, saying that it would be a disgrace if they were found guilty. It's a disgrace regardless because they still would have to pay a fine. So we don't know whether they're, they're guilty or not. They have what they're being accused of is failing to give a true and fair view of the club's financial position over the years, or of also failing to include full details of player and manager re- re- remuneration, of failing to comply with rules regarding financial fair play, and failing to cooperate in a Premier League investigation 
that is concluded after more than four years. Lots going on. They are controlled since uh, 2008 by the royal family of the of Abu Dhabi. Uh, since 2008, the value of their squad is estimated to be more than $1 billion, and the club sits at the heart of a global network of 12 football teams. Whew! 2009 to 2018. Dion, is this much to do about nothing, or is this really something? I think it's nothing. Nothing's going to happen in the city. They'll probably get, like, a fine. For the second straight time? Yeah. The EPL's not going to – they're not going to do anything to this team. There's no way. Your thoughts, Charles? I mean, what what can they do? Like, you, they couldn't they couldn't send City they couldn't relegate City, so that that option's not on the table. Like, you couldn't relegate City. That would that would imbalance so many things. Like the 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 championship would not. You know, what I'm saying like that that would imbalance the championship because they would go beat the shit out of everybody in the championship for. <laughs> like it would it would mess up the entire it would mess up the entire point of promotion and relegation because they would just come right back. So it would defeat the purpose of that. Um, I don't think that it is a good look to, in the middle of the season, deduct your second place team um, points right now. So I don't think that's going to happen because I think that that would almost like then there there would be people saying the fix is in and all this other bullshit um, about that. And just generally that like the, if they took points off city right now, like you might as well claim like the top, it's over. It would be over tomorrow if they did that. Um, so I think like in season, I think the only thing they really can do is find them unless they're going to fight this all the way like to the end of the season and maybe like something happens in like the off season, but I just don't see anything happening. That's going to like affect this year. So you're much ado about nothing as well. Meaning that. Yeah. Wow. You think that the football world would be okay with that if they were to be found not guilty in UEFA, but then paid the $10 million fine and then another fine from the FA. After especially what just happened with the Juventus? I don't think anyone cares. Why would anyone care? Because clubs have had to either abide by the financial fair play rule for quite some time. So this is the second time that they're being investigated. And yet there will be nothing that happens to them. People are going to get, I mean. I, I don't think they want to start looking at everybody's books. I think that's one of those things too, because I'm, I'm pretty sure if they ran the, the Newcastle numbers that they might not add up. They, if they, if, I'm just mm-hmm. like, I'm just saying, like, I hear you. If they, if they, you know, if they run up all that, you know, Cristiano's talking about how they ain't, they ain't uh, upgrading those facilities. They can run them uh, United numbers and start figuring out where the hell some of that money's, supposed, you know, sure. going. Um, so I don't, you know, I'm not sure if that's one of those things that they really want to get into. Where now they they running everybody books. So this is like what they would consider. How much is that Madrid stadium? Oh, let me look it up. I don't know how much. Because I promise you, Madrid can't afford that stadium and all these fucking players. Oh no, but Flo be doing what Flo do. But uh, listen, he always he figures out the money, Flo. and also he can hide that ESPN money, though, bro. Yeah, that that's was another great. thing. That's great, but if they really got into everything, they gonna find his Flo. They have been though. They've been investigated before. Flo bigger, Flo bigger than FIFA, bro. <laughs> yeah, That's he has. He's been investigated about. before. You got, you got big city of this. It's a lot different than like what thing. they're currently doing with these investigations. Yes, yeah, this is going to be interesting. It's also this is going to be done. What they said is that all the proceedings before the commission would. It, because of the rules that the FA has to do. So like, there's no public court on this, right? Everything is confidential and heard in private, like all the, all the, all the interviews, things of that nature. And then just an independent, independent commission. What they're going to do is just come post on the website that we don't know when, how that'll happen. They may have already been uh, already in the middle of their investigations, etc. cetera. Uh, so this, this one's going to be interesting. This one's going to be interesting. $700 million for the stadium renovation, by the way. And the burner bow. Like, All right. They, it, whatever they're doing, they need to do it quick, though, because let's say, mm-hmm. you know, this takes a, a month and a half and they're in first when this goes down. You know what I'm saying? Like they could have, they could have, you you know, you guys could have had a, a, a bad two weeks and now that, you know, they could, 
you know, walk you guys down or, you know what I'm saying, whatever it might be. But you're on the verge of. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm just saying there is a world where, like, they could be, you know, at least tied or a point back or whatever it might be in a month. And then, like, that's that would be the worst. Like, to do that out of no, like, that shit, uh, just no, with just a post on the website, uh, okay. Like, I, I don't think I don't think that would go over well in England because damn sure, you know what I'm saying? Like, that, I just don't think that, like, you know, I've seen them, I've seen them rush the stadium for less. I think whatever would happen would be like in the summer, like pre before next yeah. season. I don't think they, I don't think they mess with this year at all. That would be in their best interest. I mean, I know that's that's a lot to you know for Arsenal fans to really grasp. I'm concerned. I'm concerned. I, mean, I, I know that. I know what Arsenal yeah, fans it's like. Want could they start the do. season with negative points? Yeah, they want the Juve. No, nah, well, that's on them for next year. Nah, saying, none start? of that for this year. because nah, you, 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 you don't want the title to be tainted. No, you don't no. want the title to be tainted. I mean, there there are other titles that may already be tainted. I don't want this one to be tainted. I mean, I don't, they're not tainted. You still got to win them on the field. They're not tainted. Does anyone give a fuck? Like, if it's I don't. Yeah. Yeah. They I, do I, I, yeah. because of it's the biggest story in football today, no, Dion. Money, money and soccer. That's not, not true. Money and soccer is not. That real. is not true. Chelsea, Chelsea and Liverpool Chelsea. are not losers. Liverpool Chelsea. has won thirteen European championships. No, Dion, don't call Liverpool losers. losers. United are not losers. No, they're not. They're not losing teams. If, if Liverpool fans are waking up in the morning like, oh, we should have won because City did this, this, and this, do you, they're losers. Dion, do you know that, like, <laughs> Dion, because they were, they're one of the big six. That's how they feel. I'm telling you, like, I, I don't care personally. We weren't going to win those titles back then anyway. We have a title chase right now. You lost on the field. Like, Liverpool's performance was not good enough to win a title against a team within their league. And they're going to sit at home at night and be like, it wasn't fair. They cheated. Like, they, right. How they approach it, I'm not saying that. I'm telling you how they how these fans approach it. And Charles, you, you even understand this is like they are very serious when it comes to rules. This is like golf, for example. Like they are serious about like there being this soccer being a beautiful game, I mean, a treasured a, treasured game, a gentleman's right. sport. Like I that's how they think, approach it. I just golf, don't think money in soccer is a real thing. Uh, Roy McIlroy's shit tainted because of live? Yeah. So so much of that shit is fluid, dude. I don't think that there's like, I there's so many there's so much money being paid in installments between teams that have multiple players. I I, I don't know how that shit works. Like I said, I've explained plenty of times. Like I have no idea how uh, Antoine Griezmann is technically on loan to Atletico Madrid while he, we're still paying the hundred and twenty million dollars to Atletico that we, um, you know, sure. whatever it was last year, and then we ended up and then we ended up just uh, selling them back to them for twenty million or whatever it was like. That shit, like, do you really think any money ever got sent? Because I don't. Yeah, I mean, I mean, they have to, they have to put it in their balance sheet whether it got it's sent or not. That's different. It's just numbers on. It's just yeah, it's exactly. It's just numbers on sheets at this point. So like, I don't, I don't think what's God has uh, all of Jack Grealish's hundred and twenty. Like, I don't, you know, unless only only people that got their direct hundred and twenty was uh was uh, uh Ludric's team. <laughs> yes. Nah, the, uh, <laughs> Straight cash, the Ukrainian go the Ukrainian yeah. government. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. exactly. Shout out my son Mikhailo, by the way. That's my favorite footballer in the world. Yeah, here we go. Mar, let's get it. Yeah, listen, fast. He's fast. <laughs> no, he's, no, like I mean, fast, bro. Like, <laughs> like, it, it, like Vinicius, fast. Mbappe, fast. Mudrik is fast. That white boy moves like he grew up in Florida chasing chicken. Like he is fast. Like if Pace mm-hmm. Merchant, I gotta come up with a new name. Like Pace Merchant doesn't even begin to describe this kid. I've never seen anybody him and Usain Bolt do a hundred meter dash, it's closer than anyone thinks. That kid that kid is fast. I'm blown away. I'm getting a new jersey. Speak you, <laughs> you come here with a move to jersey. I might <laughs> I'm cut, bro. I'm bro, you, know, you, know, you shit you shit on him so bad. <laughs> Talk. Yeah, but he's my favorite. Player. Twenty-five minute <laughs> monologue or shit. Like Arsenal loses the league first episode after I'm in a mood jersey. Mm-mm. <laughs> I promise Mm-mm. you. <laughs> hey, they, they get, Lu- they get they Lucho. Get. Hey man, they, I told you they get Lucho. I might, I might convert. Well, listen, I'm gonna be honest. They get Lucho. Mudrik never plays. He's like he's just not good at soccer. <laughs> he's, he's just not, <laughs> he's really bad, but he's fast. I mean, that kid is fast. So, white Dembele faster than Dembele. Like, I mean, he is. 
fast. <laughs> like he's Chris Johnson. You remember the uh, match? I gotta see that thing. I, I, I ain't seen too many I, in open field. I ain't seen too many people faster than Dembele. I don't, bro, he's I know. so he's the kid. He's the kid from Mighty Ducks. I can't. He stop. runs hard. He runs hard. Yeah, uh, fast. He runs fast. He runs hard. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just saying, like. And Dembele just be kind of like gliding away oh, from yeah. people. That's what I'm saying. Like, well, Dembele knows like if he gets the ball, he can do something. Mudrik sprinting at full speed, straight, hoping the ball like glances off his foot towards the goal. <laughs> 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 like, he, uh, he, he's not. There's no thought process. He just goes straight at a really fast rate. He's the kid from uh, Mighty Ducks that slams into the wall. Mendoza, and he can't stop. <laughs> Mendoza. <Mm-mm. laughs> Bro, he slammed into the goalpost when he was running, and I was like, "Yes, yeah, because he, he's going so fast, he can't stop." Like, <laughs> 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 yeah, I love you, bro, I fuck with Mujer. Speaking of Chelsea, the Agua uh, back to Barca train is definitely happening next year, unless he goes to MLS for what's called. But I see no reason why he's not back on the squad. I mean, I don't know. Like, I forget he's on Chelsea because they have so many attackers. It's, it's, you know what I mean? Like, they, bro, that team is, a lot of it's just names, but they got some names that just about anybody would know. Speaking of names that we, all three of us know, um, Sonny was the best player on the pitch yesterday at White Hart Lane with a 1-0 win. Harry Kane, of course, breaking the record. He is, there's the shirts, the Tottenham GOAT shirts that are happening, breaking the record for the uh, leading goal scorer in Tottenham history. A excellent game. I actually was very impressed uh, with Romero the entire time. And, and unfortunately, he got the two yellows, but some things are worth unfortunately, it. Unfortunately, the first yeah. yellow was stupid as hell, but – it was, it was, but in terms of like his play and his his effort uh, and what they did, and I will say that him and Dyer did a hell of a job because if you stop Milan, City is in trouble because they don't know how to play with him right now. It's very clear they don't know they City does not who that know who they are and what they he's, want to do. He's not that good. That's what it is. He's not that good. What do you mean? Yeah, no. He, Dion, he's six yards and in, he's the best player in the world. The problem is he helps you in no way, shape, or form to get to that point. They're rigid, predictable, slow, and they just pass around the back because they have nothing in the middle. He like he'd be phenomenal on Tottenham because we don't actually try to have the ball. So like you could just run, like we just throw we just throw a ball really high to him and then he heads it in and he kicks it in. Like he'd be phenomenal at that. But like when you're playing like real football, mm-hmm. you got nothing for you, man. Mm. Okay. Yeah, he's, he needs to get a little bit more hold up play, help link, link the team. The one thing that like I'm seeing though is I think they're playing like way too narrow. Like every mm-hmm. time Jack, Jack Greeley's don't send in crosses at all. Like he don't do. No, he, he just he all he does is come back inside like every he, single time. Like, I was gonna send you guys in the group chat and be like, do, like, how do you like your wingers? Like, do you like an inverted uh, foot or like same foot? Because like, I almost think like he needs to be on the right side so he can actually like um, add some. Oh, so they could come in, yeah. Because okay, I'm saying because he's he's coming in on his right foot every time. Yep, so yep. Put him on the right wing and like actually add some width. Because like, did they send any crosses in? Like, I'm just nah. saying, if I see Eric Director, like I'm sending fucking crosses all day. Like, not scoring against Tottenham's embarrassing. It really is like it I is like it, if you don't first off if you don't score in the first twenty minutes I'm surprised yeah. I mean genuinely I, surprised Tottenham's what bottom seven in the EPL and goals allowed I want to say something like that maybe it might be higher mm-hmm. now oh I guess it could be low. they gave up zero but like I mean that's got to be the first clean sheet in about five months but they're trying to do that <laughs> I see so much of City trying to they're trying to one what's that uh, pass the ball into the goal but they are so like. There's no individuality to anything they do. Like, there's nobody actually, like, trying to, like, press into space. Nobody trying to, like, break lines. Like, nobody actually trying to do anything. And if I hear about how Jack Grealish gets fouled one more fucking time, I'm going to lose my mind. Like, what does that actually translate to other than I get close to people? Like, it don't it don't tell me nothing else than he gets close to people. You don't tell I – mean, like, I mean, there's, nothing, there's nothing that translates from he's the most fouled player in the EPL. Like, they say that shit 17 times a game. And it doesn't train. Like, does that mean they get more free kicks? And they like, what? What does that mean? What mm-hmm. I love about Grealish is uh, he does not care. 
there, there was no one on the pitch that cared less about the result than Jack. He hooping. He hooping. I see him smiling. He was kicking. He, really, he did not care. He was on the spot. He was kicking it. He, yeah. Bro said the hoes are watching this one. It's a prime time game. <laughs> like that's all yeah, he was worried about. He's <laughs> he, staying he alive at night. But he's still, yeah, there. He's awful. He's stinks. awful. Foden stinks. Y'all I'm gonna be honest, bro. Uh, I think the best version of City. I, I, I was gonna bring text you guys this, but I decided to wait to bring it up. I think the best version of City is you take Alvarez off, or you take Holland off the pitch, and you put Alvarez Uh-oh. in the middle, and you have KDB there. Like I, I think the best version of City is without Holland. I think the best version of City is with uh, Raheem Sterling on the fucking left wing. Well, that look, yes, yes, but like I, I don't think you're gonna unlock the off like. Because everyone's like, not wrong. Gonna break the scoring record, and it's like that's great, but they're scoring less goals as a team. Like, why? Why is like how can one yeah. well, one plus one isn't yeah. does not add up to two all the time, and yeah. it's not adding up right now. The, the thing that's bothering me is they 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 bitched and moaned for three and four years about how they needed a striker. Now they got one, and they act like they don't want to play with them. So don't know what to do. They don't want to play with them. I mean, but, <laughs> like they don't. Is they would be better with Harry Kane, who like is. Then they sure. would be more technical. He would be better with mm-hmm. the line. He's an adult. They just need to, yeah, he's not there yet. Like Levin, Lewandowski has like a uh, drop, like some hold up play. Like, they'd be fine with like, there's a bunch of people like that have decent hold up play. But if they're not going to, they're not even going to, they're not going to send crosses in there. Like, they're, I don't know. He's never going to get the ball. They're trying to play the ball into him at his feet. That shit's not going to happen with nine people around him. His feet aren't that good. Like, that's not where he exists. And, and I will say too, though, he's making runs. And yeah. they're not th- like he. So like they gotta do. They need to do like at least try, because he's like he he's frustrated. But he I you know as I'm watching the game, he is making runs in behind the defense. No, I don't blame him fully, but I do think like his presence leads. Like it's not his fault. You know what I mean? Like right. Like, mm-hmm. like when when I'm like speaking negatively of him, it's in the city situation. Like Halan's right. top three striker in the world, if not number one. It's just unfortunately in that system. The way he plays just doesn't fit. And the only way to really – like, they've tried everything to solve it, and I think the only way, um, like, we could do that is, or they can do it is, like, by benching him. And that doesn't necessarily mean, like, I think they catch Arsenal. I think they're in a little trouble there. Or they win, the like, the Champions League. But, like, that's the only way you give yourself a shot. If they're going to keep doing it this way, I don't think they stand a chance in either competition, to be honest. Cause, bro, I can't stress enough. Not scoring on Tottenham is embarrassing. Like, I think the three of us could get one. I, I think Pep needs to take a page out of his uh, pupils' playbook and go with the four midfielders. Um, take Grealish or Foden off the field, add that fourth midfielder, and then just go like Barca does and go with Halan and, and, and Alvarez up top and see what happens. He's, but he's got to think. He's got to start messing with that formation. But I don't think that Gre- Grealish and, and whoever's on the left wing just isn't offering anything. Yeah, yesterday's lineup was the first time he's ran with that lineup specifically ever. Uh, you know, starting both. Yeah. I mean, in that four four two. Indeed, indeed. Space merchant. Oh, he's space merchant, not passing merchant. No. Space merchant. So they- he sees grass. Ball goes towards grass. But I do think the better version of cities with him instead of a, like, I, I mean, I've been pretty consistent. Like, I've always said you got to take one off. And what I saw on Sunday is the one can't beat KDB. It's just that it can't. Mm-mm. No, they, they don't know. They don't have any idea because that's part of it, too. All they knew was to just play through him, uh, KDB. And then now they're, they're like, well, we have the striker, so let's play through him or get the ball to him. And now it doesn't look as great. It just but doesn't. Hey. It's not their fault. It's not his fault. Every team with a striker like that, the way he plays, plays the exact same way. Like rigid, predictable, et cetera. It just is what it is. Arsenal is going through the same thing right now. Eddie Nketiah is a better finisher, better striker than Gabriel Jesus, but they're missing an element. And it doesn't matter if he's a better goal scorer, if it ruins the way you get to scoring a goal, because if the goal is a fucking six-yard box tap-in, the three of us can score. So it doesn't yeah. really matter who's on the end of that. And I'm not to take anything away from Holland or Enkedia, but like, I mean, Kane's goal against City is, I mean, that that's the type of goal that like you want your striker to make. Heard it. Heard it. Yeah. I'd, speaking of which, as we transition to Arsenal, uh, they remain five points up 
but that's what they were and almost were down two points in the title race uh, going to Sunday. Three straight losses at Goodison Park. You know, sometimes this other teams have your number, but Dion, I think you said it perfectly. No Zeus right now. It's not that it's taking away from Enketia or making sure that, like, now that he has the time to be scoring, it's a, but it has really devalued Martinelli's impact on the, on the match because they're not interchanging as much left because Jesus know. knows what it means on the left and then Martinelli can go middle. Martinelli's not been very good the last who's three weeks. Who's behind Martinelli? It's not Zinni. Zinni's on Taka's side. Who's, who's your other? Grant, granted, it goes left side is Zinni, but it's a 4-2, 4-2, 3-1. Who's the wing back? Is it Zinni? Yeah, Zin mm-hmm. right. Well, Zinni then isn't overlapping nearly as much as he did pre World Cup. That's the that's what I've noticed with Martinelli. Like he he looks like he has to create all the space, and he's not used to doing that. Doesn't that yeah? Play? That's not how Brazil necessarily plays. That's not how Arsenal was playing in the beginning. Um, so I, I just think I think Martinelli's mad talented. He's better than Buddy on the other side, in my opinion. But like, he just by the way. Stunk the joint up on Sunday. Like maybe try passing to somebody else. They were very. The whole squad was bad, but he especially. It was his. It was horrible. It was horrible. They should have yeah. done ninety minutes of hey, let's just pass it to Saka the whole game as he stinks actively. Like maybe try something else. And he's gonna get. He was doubled. Dice Dice had a master class, well, um, but that's what he I'm does. Surprised they didn't put ten people on him. They didn't think to do anything else besides pass to him. You, right, could have, right. you could have brought fans in from the stadium, placed them in front of Saga. Arsenal is still going to pass them every single time. Stunk the joint up. They wouldn't have been very good. It's a poor performance, no doubt about it. No doubt about it. Brentford this weekend for them must win. Um, I think that's uh, goes without saying. Sure. Chelsea Fulham was a draw on Friday. Potter, the first time that he rolled out with the 600 mil. What'd you guys think about Enzo and what'd you guys think about Mudrick? Mudrick's fast. Yeah. Just yeah we'll see. I can't I can't really assess. You you rock and grill Grand Potter? Will you give Grand Potter the rest of the season? If, if Lucho wants to come whatever day Lucho wanna come, get off get on the plane. But them, them dudes are not gonna listen to Grand Potter. He's out of there. Gone. The, they get yeah. The thought of them having Lucho is like that would they they'd win they'd win everything with him. Bro, they're linked to Lucho and Don Carlo. They just spent six hundred million. Mudrick got eighty, and you think he's gonna listen to Graham Potter? Boy, this is yeah. not championship. Yeah, that boy, he got thug. He got thug life across this like esophagus or some shit. Like, bro, bro, like they, they're, they're not listening to this dude. He looks like a librarian. Like they're not, they're not gonna listen to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're, they're Lucho. They are struggling. Lucho tatted everything. Wow. If you flip him and Conte, both teams get better. Mm. Mm. I don't you want think Tottenham so. Because I don't think Tottenham would spend if they have Grand Potter. They pretend like they're going to develop stuff, which they never do. But, like, he's – Potter's more up, like, the Tottenham Arsenal alley. Conte's more up the big club alley. Mm. Yo, yo, is, is, is there a coach right, that's the bag more than Potts? Pochettino. Pochettino had two jobs in like ten years, bro. That's because he like. If I was Poch, I, I would never take a job besides Tom. If, you if, know, like, whenever it goes wrong, he's coming back. <laughs> like, when is when is Poch going? Poch is like one job for being on ESPN FC. But even when he gets, bro, he's gonna be ninety. Tottenham's gonna fire some manager. They're gonna accidentally hit speed dial and call him. <laughs> like, <laughs> he the, he the Billy Martin of uh, Tottenham, yeah. Bro, he, he, he's always going to get a call from Tottenham. Until he's six feet under, they will call him seeing if he it. wants to coach. <laughs> it's oh, disgusting. It's oh, it's why I've been adamant. Like, QSI is more important than any result. Because if there's no QSI, mm. Potch is on the way back. <laughs> Top five teams in Germany are all separated by five points or less. Uh, Munich is still in first. We gotta talk about these dudes. Yeah, because I thought it was it's just interesting hey, on they're you halfway through. Does what? Play, does you does you play soccer when it's not the World Cup? Come on. Really? They had five goals. They had five goals. I didn't know he was out there. 
I know he was out there. He was out like I I haven't seen him play a game, I feel like, since the France one. And he's been out there the whole time. He scored a net. Oh, he had a nasty goal a couple, like a week yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, he had one goal. He had one goal. He had one goal. I, I couldn't tell you the And they keep goal. winning, Dion. And they keep winning. I think I think he's easily gone for sure. For sure, if they were able to get some silver this year. But he's gone no matter what. He could stop playing soccer right now. They lose every game. Jude's getting sold. Like, they don't need no trophy for that. But, I, I listen, I'm not saying he's on fraud watch. Mm, oh, Dion. He might be an Oktoberfest merchant. Might be an Oktoberfest merchant. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild. Let's just keep an eye out. Just want to make sure we're, we're letting folks know. Uh, uh, latest. I, I, Go ahead, Charles. I do just want to point out just one 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 thing that I was thinking of earlier. Um, who's the one team that has benefited from the two financial scandals this year? Uh, Leeds? What is, could it be Byron? Is Byron up to something? I mean, Juventus went broke and they got licked. <laughs> Cancelo pulls up a week before the drop. If I'm just saying, um, it, if it was Byron, would you be surprised? We don't talk about Cancelo, Charles, you don't think? Is that what's up? What about you think he's behind it? I just I'm just saying, I just nah, I I mean somebody dropped some somebody snitched, but we we, we didn't get Yeah, we but we didn't give enough uh light to the fact that Delict <laughs> act Delict actually snitched though. Did he? Yeah, he did. On on Judith? Yeah, he gave he like since he like showed like icon. I went with the text. I'm just saying, Byron, people be sleeping on Byron. Man. And you know how they think about themselves and how they kind of maneuver themselves as a club. So, like I just said, like, they they both benefited from there. If, you know, when Barca was uh, going through our shit last year, they was trying to circle the wolves on our players, too. So, I just – I see what they up to. Snitchy Chanka, snitch Teta. Arsenal, <laughs> Arsenal <laughs> lost to Everton. And, bro, them two went to dinner and started making phone calls. And, I got to tell you what. That game with him, too? That the investigation him? has already yeah. been started. Snitchichenko was on the pitch. He looked, he looked at our tether. Snitchichenko. Snitchichenko. <laughs> this is <laughs> wild. He watched wow. soccer stick up the joint, and he went to our tether. He said, I'm not losing this league to them, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not losing this league. We're going we to have to snitch. Leeds United. Has dismissed Jesse Marsh as the manager. Our boy Weston played on Sunday, as we know. He just got there. Did he? Play? Uh, came on the half. Yeah, he came on at halftime. He didn't play well. He did anything? He was pretty bad. What Sunday. Tyler Adams did? Play if I think he got to eighty five minutes, but <laughs> then impact the way did what? Lost one nil to Nottingham Forest. Uh, Forest is very very safe for the moment. Leeds is on a uh, level in points with Everton. Dion has been staunch in the fact that Leeds will be relegated. Maybe they have a new manager bounce. Um, they did just bring in an assistant coach a couple weeks ago and then promptly got rid of Jesse Marsh. So we shall see if they stay with the uh, internal hire there. They're not. Fabrizio you already mentioned. Like, I, I can't remember the names, but it's two other managers. The, apparently the dude they're going to hire is going to be their manager for like a long time. Mm-hmm. We know how that go. Never know. Yeah, they're not very good. That so was, Adams, Adams and Weston are both centering defensive mitts for the most part, right? Like yes. Like, so, so what yes. happens when they what happens when they bring in a manager that only plays one? <laughs> Look, That'd be part of the deal, shame. right? It'd be a real shame if Tyler Adams nah, came off the bench. Weston can play a little, a little bit more forward if you need. He could play an eight. Weston can play eight. Adams can't play an eight. Adams is a six. I hope, I hope Weston refuses to do it. That way, Tyler Adams has to be benched. That'd be huge. <laughs> It would be his for your agenda. No doubt about that. They, but, uh, listen, I fuck with Weston. I think he's the best one on, t- on the US, U.S. men's national team, but it's a low bar. It's a pretty low bar. Mm. Some uh, good matches up on the weekend. United actually Leeds has to play Man U. Uh, I think it's twice in a row. Once in, obviously, uh, on Wednesday the eighth, they will be playing in the league, um, and then so having to go United. again. Yeah, they got two. They got two United Relegation. matches in a row. Relegation. 
Oof. That's not great for them. That's Definitely not great not. for the U.S. men's national team. <laughs> nah, I agree. Yeah, 30% it's not very of the good. Roster's Yo, on when uh, when you, when U.S. soccer hires Jesse Marsh, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> it's weird how it how it's kind of turned up, but I was gonna make a Leeds is gonna hire a Burhalter joke, but I know how some of us feel about Gio on here, so I didn't want to want to bring up any bad memories. Yeah, I... Two weeks from tomorrow, fellas. Uh, as we go into lasting thoughts, two weeks from tomorrow, the Champions League is back. Is Excuse me, a week from a week from tomorrow. Week. week from tomorrow. I know you don't need to know. I know you don't need to know. So, like, that's not it's not your fault. You had no idea. You, your team hasn't seen Champions League since Pop died. Tuesday, you guys uh, travel to AC Milan. A uh, week from Tuesday, the 14th, Valentine's Day. What a way to bring that in. And uh, then the Bayern uh, PSG matches. It's going to be – those are that's a great way to bring it in. No doubt. No doubt. Uh, so when we talk next week, uh, you guys will be in Champions League mode. But this – obviously, Tottenham is now a point off. You feeling a little bit – I know you're saying that the QSI money is most important. Or are you b- both feeling a little better about your top four chances, though? I always said they were going to finish top four. You feel the same, <clears throat> Charles? Yeah, man. I just don't, I have no idea how we're getting there. Like from 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 fucking game to game, no idea how we're getting there. But we're going to get there. Yeah, so, it's just kind of right, right, like, exactly. I, I don't think I don't think top four is that hard, to be honest. Like I really, like, you mean in general, or for, for the big six, I feel like you can stumble. And you're right there. Yeah. Like, I kinda you know give, what I mean? I give, like, I kinda give, that's why they're the big six, though. It's called yeah. the big six for a reason. Right. Like, these six, like, Tottenham these getting six, yeah. top four doesn't feel – like, if Newcastle did it, like, that's amazing. Like, Tottenham getting top cool. four is kind of like you could have – like, they've had an awful season. And they're the new big four. six. Right. Like, it's just it, – it's it's not – easy might have been the wrong word, but it's it's comfortable. You know, like it's yeah. never. It doesn't ever feel like they can't. Yeah. Like we off. we think Liverpool's like having an awful season, and they're probably gonna like they'll probably still finish like six, maybe somehow somehow or Chelsea will. You know what I'm saying? Like all the way that like for three fourths of the season we stunk, and we still made it. Tottenham's got some interesting fixtures coming up uh, at Leicester. Who's gonna be incredibly yeah. desperate? But I think y'all should get a dub. If uh, a lot of goals in that match, and whatever it is, take the yeah. over. It'll and you probably, guys probably won't be a lot of goals. Oh, it will be. No, Leicester's terrible in the back. Ryan Madison is definitely scoring a goal in the first. No, hey, James Madison. James Lester, Madison. Leicester will score two in the first. I guess it'll be a lot of goals in general. Leicester will score score two in the first twenty minutes, and then it'll be fifty minutes of some of the worst soccer you've ever seen in your life. Followed by Tottenham scoring three in the next fifteen, and then yeah, of course, yeah, exactly. It's, it's going to be a lot of goals, but it's not like like the way when you say like a lot of goals, it feels exciting. It's not going to be exciting. <laughs> yeah, there's just going to be a lot of scoring goal. opportunities. Uh, yeah, we'll see a lot of that. Uh, uh, Larice fucking goalkeeping error, some some <laughs> stupid shit. He's going to try to kick the ball. It goes five yards. He That's makes me so favorite. nervous. Like I am, like I am terrified of Hugo for right. Like every, post World Cup, I am terrified of every time he touches the ball. I'm just nervous for him. He, he's a he's not good. It's be a good way for y'all to get on track and just you hope for health. Um, you guys finish with two London Derbies uh, at the end of the month this month. Yeah, Listen, Tottenham's got a chance. See, it. I know I'm not from London. I know I'm not from London. But boy, when everything's a London Derby, it really just doesn't mean much. I mean, but <laughs> but they do. Everything's no, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. Not, I'm not saying that they mean it, but Tottenham Chelsea's a. I mean, oh, yeah. folks matters. should get up for that. But, but like, half their schedule's a London yeah. Derby. Yeah. But it's, it, it'd be like if Michigan played Ohio State eight times. <laughs> Say, that's what they are, man. Just in terms of respect. Lasting thoughts for you, Charles? Um, I mean, shit, man. Eight points clear, man. I, I, I have nothing else to say, man. Life is good. Um, Visca L. Barca. Same shit. We got a long week. Um, only got one game this week. Kind of a slow week uh, on the soccer side, but uh, yeah, man, plug it away, man. I, I'm excited. Let's go. And for you, D. I, listen, I think Barca is the best team in the world. Tottenham stinks. Uh, please save me, QSI. 
Also, hey, shout out South Africa. Um, shout out mining. Hey. I hope uh, I hope Lucho likes mining money. We got plenty of that. As as they said, Barcelona is the best team in the world now. We will have the FIFA World Cup, and I do fear. I uh, will say that the days of Don Ancelotti will be potentially is over. They're numbered. I put, it, I put let's call and, it. I put it in and, the group chat. They're losing to Flamingo. <laughs> and it would be, and honestly, if they do lose to Flamingo, and uh, Don Carlos still has to bounce. His comeback with Madrid, absolutely worth it. Anytime you win a double and it actually is his first La Liga and then for them to handle business again, another European championship when Liverpool was on your heels and that would have been a double loss. Um, Wouldn't that be uh, two Champions League winners in a row firing the coach next season? Yes, it would. Uh, Tuchel got in. He was able to stay through all year. Yeah. Yeah, because he got fired. He got fired in the beginning of this season. You think he's gonna like the burnabout? Top of the list. I mean, he's won. No, he he is the list. <laughs> he is Top the of the list. list. You can't. I mean, they have just no good Spanish manager right now that <laughs> would that they. Yeah, but those. That's like. Javi Alonso. Yeah, Pep. He's Is Javi Alonso like the 20 and under coach? Pep and Arteta. Pep, Arteta, and uh, – Would never. Would never, would never. 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 They would never. never. And what's his name? Uh, and Lucho. Poch. Poch, Lucho. Lucho. They just Poch never Poch would. Poch, Poch, ain't, Poch ain't going to Madrid. <laughs> no, I'm saying he wouldn't anyway Poch just because Barcelona. of – He yeah. fake Barcelona uh, uh, Espanol affiliated. Yeah, he wouldn't, he wouldn't do that he either. He wouldn't take that either because the moment he does that, he has to jump through hurdles to go back to Tottenham. He's trying to keep it easy. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's going to be interesting times. Uh, uh, our boy. Like I said, isn't Javi Alonso, though? Like, any like they're like a, like the Spanish U20 coach or something? He's just not ready, though. It's the, the same with the Pirlo situation. Just not ready. Well, you, I mean, you, I you, mean we'd go with there, Tucho over that. I mean, Javi had to leave. Yeah, Javi had to leave, right? Yeah. He had to leave yeah. the gates, and then he went over and did his business, and he was brought back. So. He get contact. Think he'd have to change his approach a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Get, hey, better take that's a down. little bit. Hey, yeah, that's you don't know a little bit. take that bass out of his voice when he talks to flow. Yeah, <laughs> if you ain't run four three three attacking. Yeah, that's probably. And you ain't, and you ain't gonna be running your mouth in the press conference with flow. I was gonna say that if there's one thing I know about ML teams is they will not be held accountable for anything. So content wouldn't work. Them. <laughs>